Begin on your hands and knees with your ankles flexed and toes tucked under. Push from the hands to draw your hips back over your heels. Rock forward and repeat just like so. Keeping your head up. You may feel that this is awakening the muscles on the bottom of the feet as it's stretching them out and mobilizing the big toe. This can help with a lot of people who may have a compensated walking pattern. In addition, this exercise also creates posterior glide of the femoral head in the socket. So it actually helps to reset your hips. And the whole rocking motion is a bit of an emotional reset for people in the vestibular system. So you'll notice a baby can be upset, but the minute you rock it, it calms it down and it's almost a part of our DNA. So doing the rocking motion can be considered emotional reset in that front. Now, if this exercise is too hard, because it's difficult to get your feet in that position primarily, then you just put the tops of the feet flat on the ground and you do the motion from here. And as a way to progress it, you would have your head look up when you rock back, chin down and in when you go forward. Up when you rock back, chin down and in when you go forward. Just like so. Common form errors are sometimes people aren't rocking back and forth enough, they're just kind of doing this. We want to go all the way back, just go through the full range of motion here, just like so. Sometimes they won't have their feet in the proper position, so you just want to double check your feet. And then another thing that's just really subtle is sometimes they're just letting their hips sit back rather than actively pushing with the arms. We want to actively push with the arms because that's going to engage the serratus anterior muscle, which is a major postural stabilizer for your shoulder blades which can help prevent pain syndromes in the shoulder. 